Last series of week eight. Blizzed versus Spirit PvP. Everything was a mirror matchup this week. Game number one, Death Aura. That's the wheat smith. Everyone had to play in Death Aura. Will these games be as quick as uh, the ones between Ray and Achilles? We'll see. Starting in the bottom right corner of Death Aura LE. The Teal Protoss. It is Spirit. And in the top left, representing Team Jammit, the Red Protoss. It is pleased. So the pro probe's going to scout off the pylon. This probe going to scout off the pylon. Maybe one of them will proxy. Who knows with PvP? Two probes going to see each other. Awk awkwardly shuffle around each other. And both probes will scout their opponent, so it's likely going to be two gates out of both players. Because if your opponent has more Protoss units than you, and Pro Protoss units are very good, it really isn't great for you. If you scout that your opponent's only going for one gateway and you're going for two, you could just go across the map and be aggressive. This probe's going to ambitiously attempt to take down that pylon. And uh, that's not a wall, but maybe it was already known. But if Blizz didn't know before, he definitely knows it's not a wall now. Meanwhile, on the other side of the base, or the other side of the map, Cyber Course for both players, second gateway on the way here for Blizz. We should see a second gateway out of uh, Spirit here very soon. As this probe is eventually shoved off. <coughs> Trying not to keep hiccuping here, man. Okay. So, only one gateway out of spirit, and there's no wall. Wait a second. So, literally all Blizzard has to do is build a depths and go kill him. He scouted where the gateway was, saw that there was no wall. All he's got to do is build a depths and go kill him. I believe there's actually three holes in this wall. Here, there, and there. And it is a Stargate opener out of Spirit. So Spirit's going to try to do the Stargate kind of thing. There is a shield battery on the way over there to finish the wall, but also uh, also assist in case of defense. This probe will finally be finished off by the Stalker. And it looks like Blizz is actually going to try to expand here. He has two gateways, his opponent only has one. I'm just I'm just curious, like, in a PvP, is this not a flag for everyone? That, like, if they don't build a wall right over here, is that not a flag to just go kill him? So I feel like in my mind, you're just supposed to go across the map and murder that man. There is an adept. Maybe there will be more. The stock is probably to shove off. Any kind of early stuff. And here comes the adept. Just sneaking across the map. But the adept's gonna find two stalkers which are gonna kill it. The, uh, it's gonna be two oracles. Followed up by a gateway play. But so far, nothing really early aggressive. Those oracles could do a ton of damage. They could also do nothing. We'll see. This adept, I think, is just there to delay the third whenever the third happens. But I think the third's a little bit far off from now. These protest players don't take a third base until they feel comfortable with the army they have. Charge is being researched for Blizzed. Blizzed is uh, a little bit suspicious of some kind of airplay. Maybe a warp prism. Uh, out of spirit. So he he's keeping a couple stalkers back. 
Those, uh, those gas probes will be tra trading in their gas for minerals at the uh, local barter. And he here come the oracles. Just sneaking across the map. They will run directly into the two stalkers. And uh, they're just going to eviscerate probes, one-shotting them. Yeah, probably didn't want to stay there too long. A little bit of the select all army action used. Not ideal, losing one oracle, so not the worst. Trading one oracle for six workers. Not ideal, but not the worst trade in the world. There was a little bit of the select all army hotkey out of Blizzed. Because the Adept came back as well, the Oracle's going to take a few more parting shots. And Blizz is going to try to attack here. Uh, he, he is going to have charge done, getting the uh, Robo as well, but there's no units at home to stop this Oracle from just doing more damage whenever it comes back in. So we'll see if it roasts more probes. We already know six have gone down, so we'll just add it later. And against a shield battery and this many Stalkers, I'm not sure... If this does damage, Zealots are very good. They take so little damage against Stalkers. Oh, and the shield batteries are drained. Is Blizz just going to win on this attack? Those Stalkers desperately trying to go somewhere. That sentry force field was something. As uh, the Zealots have made it all the way back to the Stalkers. Two more Stalkers are being warped in, but we'll all die. The, f the force field almost perfect. All of the probes have been pulled here for uh, for Spirit. And this is the issue I was talking about at the beginning of the game. When your opponent just has more protest units with you because they have they had more gateways at the beginning of the game, this is what can happen. All, as most of the probes die, he's down to... Uh, he's down to very few. Oh, meanwhile, on the other side of the map, eight more workers have died. Blizz is warping in more units, trying to end it here, and he does. Uh, both sides losing a ton of workers. My goodness. But game number one belongs to Blizz. Off of, uh, he just had more gateways. <clears throat> he had more gateways and more money. And that's how it goes. So Spirit being the loser gets to pick the next map, and Spirit chose Golden Wall. Interesting choice. Here we go, PvP. Will... Does Spirit have a plan here? To, uh, do something. And the man, back against the wall in this Week 8 matchup. Spawning on the right side of Golden Wall. The Teal Protoss. It is Spirit. And on the left side of the same map, the Red Protoss representing Team Jammit. It is Blizzed. Scouting off the pylon. Scouting off the pylon. We've heard this story before. Both players really suspicious of a proxy <clears throat> in PvP. Huh. But no, I thought it I thought it was just routine that both of you are supposed to open two gate. Because if you if one of you opens two gate and the other one doesn't. Also, interesting places for a wall. There's a, a wall, not a wall in a spirit space. And uh there's uh gonna be a low ground wall for, or the not low ground, but lower ground wall for uh Blizzed over here. Blizz probe will be chased off. <clears throat> As well, this probe over here. So how does Spirit come back? Spirit obviously lost because he just had less units. Um, and I think that spawns from not starting double gateway. As two, two gateways are now down for Blizzed. And I, I'm still very curious why... Uh, why there's no wall here out of spirit? Spirit... We, we've just seen spirit not do a lot of walls, I think, even against Zerg in our prior matches as well. As the probes will uh, chase each other all the way back. 
across the map, and uh, there's a pylon outside the ma outside of uh, his main, and it's a proxy gateway. So this is going to be for reinforcements. There's no wall, so maybe it's going to be a lot of adepts. Maybe uh, I do think the adepts would be really good against a player without a wall. As I've said a few times, second gateway is now just finally coming on the way. Uh, another important thing that I missed is Spirit did take the gas. So uh, that's, a, that's a little bit unfortunate there. And uh, Blizz is going to go pretty hard on the Zealot game here. So we'll see how well this works for Blizzed. Um, I hope I'm not sure are 100% high here. Two Zealots are going in, they will find two Adepts. Adepts, uh, their biggest advantage obviously being ranged. Another pylon on the way for Blizzed, interestingly enough. There's a Robo as well, so there's going to be an Immortal. So will Spirit hold this? One Zealot going to try to go in there and realize that he can't, and then be kited to death. Shield batteries are on the way. Adepts are shading out just to get a good picture of what's going on here. Won't get the best picture, but we'll get a picture. As uh, Adepts are just gonna kill zealots. The immortal? Maybe not. <clears throat> now there is an immortal out, it's going to be. There's a couple stalkers on the way as well for Blizzed. So now Spirit's gonna go for zealots just to soak that damage. Uh, the adepts do have a ton of damage output. And to focus down the Immortal, there is one Zealot adding damage. That Immortal's gonna die! Oh, losing that Immortal sucks for Blizzed. And that pylon is cancelled. As, uh, now there's just not a ton of units here for, uh, Blizzed. As these shield batteries are going to be depowered, the pylon will go down. Uh, as will these Zealots. Is there actually enough Protoss here? He did proc the Immortal Shield, which is very, very important. And now he's going to retreat to the Hive Ground. Several Shield Batteries are being made. Zealot's very good. Uh, I don't know. Oh, they're, 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 they're getting behind the Stalkers to stop them from microing. And uh, Spirit is forcing his opponent to fight up the ramp. And now there's a sentry as well. The sentry with an excellent force field. This is going to get the immortal completely killed. Oh my goodness. It tries to recall, but it's too little too late. That immortal goes down. Warp Prism has completed as well. And now I just think... Uh, now I think there, there's just too much momentum on uh, the side of... Uh, on the side of, uh, Spirit here. The Warp Prism coming in clutch, though, replacing the Pylon. Uh, the energy on the shield batteries is very full. And Spirit is going to slowly lose everything in his army to that shield battery. So now we're back at a stalemate. Both players have shield batteries. Uh, Blizz looks like he wants to expand some time. He's a little bit... Both players are supply blocked pretty hard. Which is giving both of them some time. If one of them wasn't supply blocked, it'd give a pretty huge edge. The Warp Prism is going to go around and maybe try to slip some units into the main. But I think Spirit's army is getting better faster. But we'll see. Because uh, there's no pylon over here, because I don't think there's a probe over here on this side of the map. The warp prism is not uh, not there to help it either. Two zealots picked off for free. Uh, now it'll just be who has more gates to see if, uh, see if Spirit can actually uh, hold this. As uh, two zealots are warped in, but four stalkers are warped in in response. One stalker is warped in over there. 
The whole army's brought back, which is not ideal for Spirit. Spirit, uh, Spirit could have handled this with four stalkers. Didn't need to bring back the whole army. And Spirit, Spirit's army, it's 28 to 18 army supply. There is one immortal. But there's no shield batteries. And the immortal is going to get picked up. Will it die? No, but it will be the last immortal. As Spirit is going for a robotic support man. And Blizz does not have any replacement tech at home. And uh, Blizz is not only supply blocked, but he has no tech. All he has is Gateway and Cybercore. So that immortal is the last immortal that he can produce for quite a while. And he's just building another gateway. So now Spirit is rightfully going to take the momentum. As uh, Spirit has a bigger army. Feels very comfortable with that fight he just won. And there's no shield batteries over on this side of the map. Which is not ideal for uh, Blizzed. So we'll see how this fight goes. War Prism taken out though. So there will be no, more mi there will be no micro potential for that immortal. Blizz going really far. Losing his high ground edge. And uh, honestly, if you just pop a Guardian Shield, I think you can just take this straight up. Because there's no shield batteries. I don't know if he knows that. He has more things. He's waiting for a Disruptor. <laughs> disruptor can really shake things up. And here comes the Danger Ball. It's going to come all the way across the map. And uh, it one-shots everything it touches. Except for Immortals and Tanks. And uh, Blue's taking a little bit of the momentum here, bringing it, bringing it back. And this uh, immortal, or not immortal, this uh, yeah, this disruptor, very, very, uh, very, very dangerous. As more disruptors are going to come across the map, this army is only going to get more and more dangerous. The, I do like the idea of putting zealots in front as well. How big will this disruptor hit be? Spirit is going to launch it in. All the stalkers are grouped up and they explode. And Blizz taps it out right there. We are tied up one to one. Game number three yet again. But between these two players, game number three takes place on Pillars of Gold. One to one. Match point all. The winner wins week number eight. And gets those sweet tournament uh, placement points. And starting in the bottom left of Pillars of Gold, the Teal Protoss. It is Spirit. And in the top right, the Red Protoss representing Team Jamit. It is Blizzed. Now I really... I really don't know what uh why spirit doesn't wall off in PvP. Is that is that just not meta anymore that you see your opponent not wall off and having less uh, bases than or less uh, gateways than you you just you don't just build adepts anymore and kill them? Cuz I feel like that's how you're supposed to punish that, but I haven't played my my PvP experience is limited being a Terran player. This probe will sneak across the map. This probe doing the very same scouting. Blizz scouted just a little bit earlier. I'm not sure if the pathing on spirits was just a little weird to try and uh, hide it. Oh, spirits going for a cannon rush. I didn't see the forge. It's going to be a cannon rush. Was this spotted by Blizz? It was. He knows. He's already pulling the probes. Here comes the cannon rush. And, uh, if Spirit loses his probe, the game might just be over. As, uh, this cannon rush is shut down, and now there's no gateway. Blizz isn't even killing the pylon, though. Weird. Uh, okay. 
Oh no, an army of probes is coming out. Spirit has committed this cannon rush. This is all he had. He's going to try to build two cannons and two more pylons. Each probe, I think, has its own task. Cybercore almost done. Zealot is done. If these guys kill the pylon before everything else starts, it's game over. Spirit really thinking about this. Gonna start the cannon rush over here. Which is still in vision of Blizzed. Blizzed can still see it. There are four probes trying to defend it. They just need to take the aggro long enough. Oh my god, all the probes are pulled. There's a hard wall. And uh, Spirit will tap it out. Blizzed wins. Two to one. Alright guys.